Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Silas, and I come out with my first ever NBA 2K23 video, man. And today, we're going to go over the top five bugs on NBA 2K23. As you all know, there was a 2K community day a couple days ago, and a bunch of creators went there, and they recorded content, and they were able to post it today. So today, we're going to go over the top five bugs I saw on YouTube, uh, and I'm going to just show it to you guys because you don't have to go explore YouTube all the uh, all of you over YouTube, I'll watch all these videos because I got you covered, man. So also, uh, there was a lot more than five builds. Like, I can't fit them all in one video. If you guys do want a part two, make sure you hit that like button. And we might go ahead and do a part two tomorrow. Now, uh, let's get into the builds, all right? So this is the first build we got. Uh, this is La Monster's 6'9 Demigod build. And this build is for real a Demigod build. He's not joking out, man. So as you can see uh, on this build, right? So... He's six foot nine, two hundred ten pounds, and a seven four wingspan. Um, his finishing is pretty good with an AD driving dunk and an AD layup. But he's six foot nine, so he will be able to finish uh very well. Because most of the time, you, you, this build is mainly meant for I'm gonna guess uh to run point guard either on the twos or the three score. Definitely not point guard for a pro run, but on the twos or three score, and it's but mainly twos. So on the twos, uh, this is a point guard book is a complete joke this build will absolutely be an absolute joke when he's getting guarded by a six foot three six foot two point guard because of the fact that he's six foot nine with those finishing yeah he's gonna be a bully instead his jump shot very good 86 three point shot with 87 mid range with 25 badges that is very very good and you have to remember he's six foot nine those shooting stats for a six foot nine guy is very good and this is a ridiculous part about this whole build it has 87 ball handling and yeah his speed with ball is low but 87 ball handling with 81 speed and 77 acceleration is very 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 good and right, of course it's, this build is a glitch build it's like a broken point guard build basically um it's a broken demigod build essentially um so his defending is pretty all around it 80, uh, 80 interior defense, 80 perimeter defense, 80 block, 80 defensive rebound with decent steals and um, offensive rebound, nothing crazy. And his physicals is also a pretty good for a 6 foot 9 player. This is the first build. Let me know what y'all think. I think this is a very good build. We got three like demigod type builds and then we got a point guard build and a center build near the end. So this is the first build, the monsters build. Let me know what you guys think. I think this build is very solid. And but. I think there's one book better than this. There's, I'm showing you three Demigod books. I think there's one book worse than this, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is um, Shakedown's book. I, he doesn't actually show the badges properly. I couldn't find a proper uh, spot, but um, this is his build. Um, as you can see, it's pretty similar to the monsters, but he's six foot eight, 234 pounds instead of six foot nine, like 210, I believe. Seven three wingspan instead of seven four. There's a difference. Uh, so the shooting, it's a bit worse. The playmaking, it's a bit worse. But he, you, you are faster with the ball. The defending it is similar, but it's a bit worse again. But here's the catch. Here's the thing that makes this book um, different from the monsters. And you could argue better or worse. Uh, that's up to you. So he sacrificed a bit of playmaking, a bit of shooting, and a bit of defense to get 82 vertical, 82 uh, strength with. This ridiculous finishing, because this is a LeBron James type build, and this finishing is a joke. So uh, I saw a gameplay with the bully badge, and this build gets it. Uh, I think like silver or gold, I'm not exactly sure. But when you look at this build, and you are get, and if you ever get guarded by a point guard, you will score every single possession with those finishing stats and that strength with that height. You will score every single time. 93. Driving dunk for 88 driving layup, 85 close shot, 82 vertical, 82 strength, and you're six foot eight, 234 pounds. You will be bullying people every single time you drive in. Uh, but of course, yeah, this book is a bit slower than the monsters. But this book is ridiculous inside. Um, has a decent shot, decent ball handle, decent defending. But yeah, this is a very good book if you want to be like a player that just gets it into the paint. And plays bully ball because this is what this build is. This build is made to play bully ball, and this build will bully a lot of people. Now, over here, we got the third demigod build. Uh, this is the last demigod build we got, and this is Jonos's 
and I think this is the best uh, build we have. Uh, this is the best like demigod build out of the three that I've showed you guys. So as you can see, his finishing is very good. 93 driving down with 73 driving lift is very, very, very good. 86 three point shot. His mid range is 71, but it's it's decent. But you don't really even need a mid range. Like to be honest, don't shoot mid ranges in 2K. It's not worth it. You just shoot the three or go all the way. That's a new style of basketball. I'm sorry if you're old head, but this build is not really made for mid range. Uh, his uh, playmaking is actually very very good. 89 ball handling with 85. Uh, pa uh, passing accuracy with a 77 speed with ball. I think that is very, very, very solid. Defending, uh, 86 primary defense, 78 uh, steal, and 70 block is very, it's it's solid. It's not very good, but it's solid, right? You do get silver clamps because you, you need 86 uh, de primary defense, I believe. And you do also get um, silver uh, interceptor. Oh, yeah, you do get silver clamps, uh, silver interceptor and you also get a, a chase down on silver as well so hey, this build it will be very good defensively as well he is six foot eight uh he's not the fastest but he does have 86 def uh, primary defense with silver clamps and silver chase down so even if you do get beat you can recover pretty fast and get a pretty good chase down block so i think this build is very very good i do recommend this build and i think this is probably the best build i saw today if I'm being honest with you guys. Now, moving on forward to build number four. This is um, a, a center build. A, this is Iggy Moose, a shooting center build. And this build is very, very, very good. Um, his finishing 73 uh, driving down. I think that's good enough for a center, especially a shooting one. Uh, his three-point shot is 82 and 79 mid-range. I think that is also pretty good. But you do have to remember that he has a 7'7 seven seven wingspan. That's why his three-point shot is lower than, like, um... La Monsters and like Joe Noses because his wingspan is a lot bigger than this. It's uh, ball handling, it's nothing crazy. You just do get big badges, you can put like a, a dime or something off of your team, but it, it's you basically have no playmaking ability. You can pass a little bit, but that's about it. You, you're not dribbling with this build, you're not doing it, none of that with But what you will be doing with this build is you will be locking people up, man. Look at that defending. You got 70 interior defense, 86 primary defense, 90 steel, 90 block, 97 offensive rebound, 98 defensive rebound. That is absolutely ridiculous. And the physicals on this book is uh, it's really good. The one thing I just don't get why he did is the 93 uh, vertical. Maybe he put it for the rebounds and the blocks. But I don't think you need 93 vertical on a shooting center. I'll probably drop the vertical way down to like a 50 and upgrade. Anything else you can upgrade your strength over there, your block over there, your interior defense over there, your mid range over there, or even your finishing over there. I'll upgrade anything other than that 93 vertical. I think that is just complete waste. But this is a very, very, very good um, shooting center build, and I think that any center build you will see this shooting will be very, very similar to this. So this build is very, very good. But he is six foot nine. Maybe you guys want some bigger centers, or who knows? But and maybe I'll I'll have like a big center in tomorrow's top five builds on NBA 2K23 because I'll probably do a part two as well. And this is the last build. This is a point guard build. This is like a basic like um very this is like a meta build, but I feel like there will be better point guard builds in this. But it, this is a very solid build. The driving I uh, dunk is a 75. I think you need 80 for the quick drop offs. Or whatever that dunk package was in 2K22 that was like broken. So I would try to get 80 driving dunk on my point guard build. The shooting, 90 uh, three point shot, good. Uh, 75 mid range, it doesn't really matter. A ball handling and speed with ball is very good. But I would try to push for 94 ball handles so you do get gold handles for this. That's one thing I would try to push for. But other than that, very good ball handling. Primary defense is not good, but you do have 85 steals, which is. Which is pretty good. I think you get silver interceptor with bronze uh, clams. That's good enough, I guess. And then physical is very good. Good speed, good acceleration, good stamina. Vertical and stamina, you do not, uh, vertical and strength, you do not need for a point of build like this. So, this is solid build, but I definitely think we will have way, way, way better point of builds. Um, so, yeah, if I had to rank the build, like I said, I didn't want to, but I'll probably rank uh, Jono as number one. Um, the monster number two, Egamore number three, 
Chris number four and Shakedown number five. But yeah, these builds are very good, man. So um, I can't wait to get my hands on the game on Thursday night at 12 p.m. I'll probably post like five videos that night. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on. I don't know. I got you the face creations, the builds, the shoe creations, the badge videos, the jump shot videos, the signature moves, the dribbling moves. So you guys, I got it all, man. I'm going to be grinding this year. It's the only time I'm going to say and I'm going to prove it to you guys in action, man. So yeah. Um, other than that, it's been your boy Skillzy. And make sure you hit that sub button and I'm out. Peace out, everybody.